coronavirus. We did not think it was going to spread like it did. It's, it's interesting that it hit us so hard, hit the whole world right. so hard. Most of the cases uh, have either no or mild disease. Now, people with low immunity, whether it's due to you know, extreme ages okay. or due to medical uh, conditions, you know, their immunity is weaker. You know, they, you know, they have less ability to clear the virus okay. than a healthy individual mm. li like yourself. Yes. You know, these masks are not to protect us. They are to protect others from us. So it's, it's the responsible okay. thing to do. I have zero symptoms. Could it possibly be that I've been exposed to it and I'm just not either getting symptoms of it? Absolutely. figure squad is Dr. Abdel Fami, who's not only a doctor of 31 plus years with a specialty in addiction medicine, but also an entrepreneur who gave us really the lowdown of what we need to worry about, what we need to anticipate, and how we can pivot during this crisis. So Dr. Fami, I appreciate you having me come here to your gym. A pleasure is A gym that mine. I've had the pleasure of being a member of and definitely uh, benefit from your services here at this gym. We appreciate your patronage. 100 percent and you. i can't wait till it opens back up again you know milton my, my trainer introduced me to you and is obviously yes. my personal trainer and get me into a condition where i can have a lot of energy and running my business yes we're missing we miss out on the in the environment but yes uh we have this invisible enemy yes this this, this covid 19 yes this, uh this coronavirus covid 19 strain i mean you, you you've been around i remember back in january yes i came back from a conference in in, in december january and i saw you wheeling around these sterile uh, wipes all around, all around. You were in the songs. Yes, like, yes. I'm like, I was, I, I, Milton was working me out. I'm like, really? Is Dr. Fami really freaked out about this coronavirus? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what were you seeing back in January 2020? Well, we were looking at uh, what China's doing and what China's, you know, China announced in, in about January, in the beginning of January about, yeah. uh, you know, that they have a new coronavirus. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, by, by towards the end of January, China, uh, you know, shut down Wuhan. I mean, they, they started the quarantine in, in Wuhan, and we did not think it was going to spread like it did. I, I, you know, I didn't. I was just taking precaution. Remember, we had SARS in 2002. Sure. Yep. Uh, same virus. This this actually coronavirus is called uh, SARS COVID two. Really? Yes, SARS-CoV-2. So it's uh, they're all SARS, MERS, SARS in 2002, MERS in yeah. 2012, and now the COVID-19. Yeah. Uh, they're all the same family, right. the, the coronavirus family, and you know they come usually f from bats uh, to animals, and then you know and then animals to humans and then it you know they spread fast so well, coronavirus has been around for a while in a different Some, form different yeah form, i mean right. you know there's a lot more types of coronavirus that uh, that we get than like a flu cold right. and they go away we we had uh, china learned about it in in 2002 mm -hmm. with the sars and it didn't come to us I mean, okay. it didn't affect us back then it's it's interesting that this one hit us so hard, hit the whole world right. so hard, and it's 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 because of uh, the nature and epidemiology of, of this virus um, is the COVID nineteen. The, the second one, yeah, yep. the SARS CoV two, which okay. is the COVID nineteen. Its epidemiology is different than the initial SARS gotcha. uh, from two thousand and two. It, it lingers more, it has those little spikes on its body that attaches to things uh, more and it has this incubation period that fools people, you know, right. you can be walking around with it for a week and not knowing and right. yet spreading it around. Right. So all these characteristics make it, you know, uh, spread like it did. SARS was, you know, the initial SARS was not like that. It was, you know, gotcha. get it fast, you know, it doesn't linger around out. COVID-19, uh, which is coronavirus disease, COVID-D, 
2019 can can uh, linger around for um, with, with, you know with a, somebody has the disease they sneeze right. they spread 3,000 particles of the of the disease and then it lingers around in the air for 24 hours right. and wind can carry it around sure. and you know if it goes on a cardboard it stays on that you know a cardboard container you know a package coming to your door or whatnot for right. for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And if it hits a, you know, a plastic, right. it can stay for a few days on a, on plastic, on steel, even, you know, door handles, even longer. Uh, Which has been in interesting because, you know, I, I, I have a pretty healthy travel routine. Yes. I, I'm pretty much out of the, out of my house, out of Illinois, traveling to different offices across the country. Absolutely. It's probably one of the biggest frustrations of Milton. Can't you just <laughs> get routine down? Because I think I'm always, I'm always traveling, right? Yes. And so I've been on airplanes, I've been around people, no masks, so, you know, I've been around you know, lots of different airplanes, different cities, been working out here, gym, uh, group classes, whatnot. I, I mean, I have zero symptoms. Yes. It's, it's uh, the shooting of this video is May of 2020. I have zero symptoms. Could it possibly be that I've, I've been exposed to it and I'm just not either getting symptoms of it or I could be posting it, not even? Absolutely. You know, okay. uh, some people, uh, you know, get it and get some, you know, uh, fatigue and malaise and, you know, tired, uh, some uh, cough for a couple of days, uh, you know, a sore throat for a day or two and, and it okay. goes away, mm -hmm. like like a common cold symptoms. Okay. Uh, and, you know, and some people can be just carriers, uh, you know, uh, so that's why the, the rapid testing is, is very important because you would know if you had it or not, you know, it, uh, right. you could have had it and you never knew that you had it and it went away. Sure. Uh, which is most of the cases uh, uh, have either uh, no or mild disease. The, a few folks that have the uh, chronic illnesses or old age are the ones who get, uh, you know, the severe form of the how, disease. How come? So, so in other words, it, it's been, it seems that the, the, the kids, the younger, the younger generation versus the older generation. Yes. Are more, the older generation more apt to having some severe condition or sadly dying from this. Yes. How, how come? Why does the COVID-19 affect? So, you know, the, co the COVID-19 uh, attaches to the, your lung cells, you know, they go in, they attaches to your lung cells. And then once it attaches to the lung cells, it enters into the cell and then tricks mm -hmm. your lung cells into producing more versions of the virus, okay. like a little factory making, you know, more COVID-19 inside your cell. You know, that's how it's tricky. Uh, and that's during the incubation period until you know it accumulates enough virus and enough cells okay. to attack your your body. Now, people with low immunity, whether it's due to the, you know extreme ages okay. or due to medical uh, conditions, you know their immunity is weaker. You know they you know they have less ability to clear the virus okay. than a healthy individual mm -hmm. li like yourself. So gotcha. uh, you know that's that's where the severe complications may happen. Uh, although. Although young people had severe complications as well, okay. which, uh, you know, due to, you know, other, other factors. Uh, but the clear reasons mm -hmm. are the extreme of age and the, anybody can get mm -hmm. COVID-19. It's how they manifest it is different. And it right. depends mostly, uh, there are other factors, but mostly on age extremes and and comorbid conditions. So how can we boost our immune system, both older and young? How can we boost our immune system? Any foods, any very, vitamins? You we know, can very, take? very good question. You know, um, the basics, the basics, exercise, healthy lifestyle, healthy, you know, he healthy meals, okay. uh, you know, staying fit and trim, uh, supplements, uh, you know, the, you know, the, the basic, you know, good sleep, low stress, the base, uh, you know, but so I guess the last 45 days, a lot of people had a lot of sleep and oh. low stress, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no traffic, yeah. no workplace stress. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, it's uh, it, it, you know, it was as as you know, it was mm -hmm. uh, you know a new thing to adapt to. Uh, you know, we never experienced anything like that uh, right. in, in our you know lifetime. And uh, by the way, I noticed that uh, we're 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 socially distant right now in, yes. in this interview. Yes. <laughs> so that's probably one of the best ways to, <laughs> yes. to to maintain and keep your immunity high. Yes, we gotta we gotta protect others yes. you know these masks are not to protect us they are to protect others from us right. so it's it's the responsible okay. thing to do yes and uh, you know it's bec it's becoming the law in a lot of uh, villages yeah because uh, a prince said may 1st you got to go out there with, you can't i think my wife was going to go to a store yesterday yeah the first today's yeah. the second 
and she couldn't go in the store without a mask on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they are. I mean, it's to protect the people from. You know, if I catch it, I you know I, I may not manifest it right. for a few days. I might not. I might not know for a few days. You know, up to right. a week. Uh, you know, but all the time I am spreading it. Gotcha. So it, it's to protect others from me, the person with the COVID-19, from spreading spreading it. In, in your in your in your medical perspective, is this going to blow over? Is this something that uh, we're going to finally you know, get the, over? That's a good question, uh, and nobody has the answer to that. You know. Um, Obviously, SARS did mm -hmm. blow over. Uh, if you think about it, China has been attacked by COVID, by coronavirus, a form of coronavirus, you know, once every 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one, it seems like, you know, it mutated itself in a way that, you know, it was hard for us to contain it. We had to right. completely separate uh, right. to contain it. So, whether this one is going to completely go away or lingers mm -hmm. or come every, you know, year. Like seasonal or something like, like that? Seasonal, like the flu. Yep. Uh, it's anyone's guess. Uh, but, you know, what we know is that, you know, there's not going to be a snap of the finger and everything goes back. It, it will be a gradual return to normalcy. Sure. You know, over a period of time. It took, it took a big bite out, out of the uh, world economy. and uh, Huge. Yeah, it's yeah. going to take us uh, time to rebuild. Doc, I want, I want you to take a look at this by uh, this graph here by Johns Hopkins. It, it states the different countries that have death rates, okay, with more than 9,000 cases. So Italy, Italy seems to be the most hard hit for yes. every for uh, uh, 10 percent. There's a death rate versus uh, the United States is one, a little over one percent. Yes. Why is Italy so much more hard hit in terms of the death rate versus the rest of the world? Yeah. So Italy is right in the middle of it, right? Right. Yeah. You know, a lot, a lot of traffic through yeah. Italy, um, and uh, it took them a minute to start implementing uh, social distancing. Gotcha. By the time they started implementing social distancing, it, it had already spread throughout. Uh, you know, Italy is, a, you know, a, it's a very uh, friendly environment. Yeah. Everybody is, you know, yeah. very close to everybody. Yeah, they're stacked on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, they right. they're very close quarters, yes. They live in very close quarters. And, you know, it's, it's a very crowded uh, uh, city. And it took them a while to start implementing social distancing and stuff. By the time they did, uh, the cases were already there. You know, the testing, you know, was revealing how much disease was already there. Right. Uh, again, due to the long incubation period and so forth. And uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't have enough, you know, hospital beds and ventilators, like we heard all over the news, hospital beds and ventilators and, and so forth to treat those with mm -hmm. complications. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, w we are a little bit remote from this whole, you know, world. Uh, we're definitely farther from the epicenter than, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, than Italy. And we, um, we started implementing uh, restrictions and paying attention when we saw it hitting Europe like that. Right. Uh, so <laughs> Europe got hit uh, before us. Uh, you know, we, we kind of late bloomers, you know, so, um, so that's, that's why it kind of, it, kinda, it was, you know, uh, surprising, uh, you know, because again, SARS, initial SARS in 2002, or MERS, did not affect the, the world, third the world country. Yeah, yeah did yeah. not affect the industrial world that way at all. So when, when you know, as, before I ask you this about business and, and how it's affected business, because yes. you're a business owner too as well. Yes. You're a doctor. Yes, sir. You're talking to your family. Yes. Talk to us like Grant, we're part of your family. Everybody yes. watching this YouTube channel, what guidance, what advice would you give us as part of your family about how to go about life yes. in, this, in this pandemic type of lockdown world, even through it? And after it, well, I mean, we we just gonna ad have to adapt to the current circumstances. You know, like everybody knows, I'm not gonna say anything that uh, you haven't heard okay. before. Uh, hand washing, okay, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, you know, and uh, cleaning those nails and between your fingers. Okay. Uh, you know, you gotta spend some time on hand washing. More hygiene. Uh, yes. Okay. More hygiene. Social distancing. Really, and still. Social distancing yeah. is continuing. We're continuing to have cases every day. You yeah. know, a lot of cases. It's, right. it's not that it's stopped. It's flattening. Right. You know, but it's it's still continuing to to spread right. at, a, at a slower pace. Uh, and plus, I notice we're not shaking hands anymore. We're just fist bumping or elbow fist bumping. bumping or elbow bumping. <laughs> yes. Uh, we've got to yeah. keep that six six okay. feet. That magic number six feet. Uh, you know, 
uh, because when we when we speak, right. you know, we, we kind of spit a little bit into the air, you yeah. know. So if, if you're carrying, that's why the yeah. masks Perfect. are critical. We had to take them off for, for the interview, but otherwise, uh, everybody should be wearing them uh, to protect others. That, I mean, that's uh, you know, that's uh, the way. Mask or is neck gaiters? You know, just to cover those neck gaiters and. Is that just fine? Whatever, well? just to whatever works for you. You know, okay. either one, either way, it it it, it works uh, just to prevent the particles coming out of your, you know, with droplets uh, right. coming out of uh, your mouth uh, when you're speaking. You know, that's yeah. you know that's the idea. And uh, you know, uh, continue to do the things that improve your immunity in general. If you're a smoker, quit mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know, uh, if you're a drinker, ease it. <laughs> That's probably what I didn't want to hear right there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, just start living a healthy uh, lifestyle, which I'm sure you already do. Uh, but uh, it's important to enhance your immunity and, um, you, know, stay, you know, stay healthy for your, for your family. Let's talk about business because you're an entrepreneur. Yes, sir. Right? You're, you're a business person. You've, uh, how, many, how many square feet is this? Uh, 40,000 square 30, feet. 30,000? 40. 40,000. Yes. You have a 40,000 square foot gym here at, at the Yorktown Mall. Yes. And there's many other entrepreneurs, other right. gym owners too as well. Yes. How is this pandemic going to affect business going forward into this new pandemic, post-pandemic economy? Wow. Now I'll tell you, uh, gym, 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 the fitness industry uh, took a, a major hit. I, I think more than any 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 other industry. And I think uh, more than restaurants, more than hotels. I'll, I'll explain why. And okay. I and I think the government is is feeling it. Uh, you know, okay. um, is realizing this. The gym was uh, ordered to close down at the same time that hotels and restaurants sure. in Illinois. Right. right. Second day after Pritzker came out and said, you yeah, know. Yeah the hotels and bars second day i think or the day after uh, gym gyms yeah. and you know fitness facilities and rec you know recreation facilities and so forth got hit uh, at the same time with a with a shutdown uh, order and you know it was the right thing uh, to do now whereas hotels uh, uh, restaurants are able to continue to provide curbside yeah, food, food, food delivery. Uh, gyms had no, no other revenue. way yeah. to provide services to their members you know uh, so uh, that so you know, so that impacted us significantly. And then in the reopening phase, uh, it's gonna be gradual for, for everyone. You know, everyone, it's gonna be, there will be restrictions in mm -hmm. phase one and, yeah. you know, and so on. And the restrictions will decrease in phase two. God knows when phase two is gonna be and phase three is gonna be, but there will be restrictions. And having those restrictions on their own will scare people from going to the, to the gym. So. It's going to be, uh, you know, a drawn-out um, process, and uh, we just have to, you know, adapt and, uh, you know, and work with it and figure out how we can uh, really um, adapt to the changing environment, uh, the changing business environment, and, uh, you know, uh, try to be resourceful and, and think of other other means of uh, developing value for our members and for, you know, and and. You know, if looking for other streams of revenue as well, uh, so that's what you know we've been focused on yes. from from day one. And uh, you know, it's hard. Any you know, any new stream of revenue uh, needs a lot of groundwork. Uh, it, but uh, with the help of our our phenomenal staff, Milton leadership, yeah. and and uh, others, Sebastian, Ron, Kyle, great. They're, they're all great great people. They held the fort and and. Uh, they held, the four, they held down and forth, and, and they uh, continue to provide services to members uh, yeah. online. You know? So that's that's the way we took uh, online. Yeah, uh, you online. Know, online online yeah. services. Yes. Gotcha. Um, so that, I mean, the, the the app that you're developing. I mean, you didn't wait for that. You did it pretty much right away. Yeah. Yeah. So started working on it. You know, as soon as this happened, we cried that day. Mm -hmm. Next day, woke up, brand new day. We gotta, you know, we gotta think of what we're gonna do next. You know, next, how, how, where do we go from here? Sure. You know, uh, so we have been talking. Milton and I have been talking about the app for a while. You know, we just needed to, you know, this, this, this kind of motivation to get us to do it. So we sat down, and figured it out, and, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I think it took three, four weeks to get it out, and uh, we have 100, 100, uh, 
customers using it. So, you know, uh, every day we're going to, you know, st we, we haven't started marketing it aggressively yet, but, you know. It's that's been word of mouth. It's been word of mouth. Yeah. You know, it out so, there. Yeah. So I think uh, the whole world has taken a hundred steps closer to the virtual world. You know, people who were never, you know, comfortable with doing things virtually have changed now. You have to adapt. Yes. You have to get used to that. Yes, absolutely. They're more receptive to, you know, doing stuff online mm -hmm. when they weren't before. You know, the world, you know, had to adapt. You know, schools are providing classes online. Gyms are providing classes online. Consultations are happening online. Uh, you know, I used to go to the Zoom website, uh, mm -hmm. ask for support, and I have maybe, they tell me, one or two people ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Now when I go to them for support, 120, 200 people ahead of you, seriously. We'll just get back to you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll call yeah. you back. Yeah. Right. I don't know, uh, yeah. you know, uh, my wife was asking me today, to, uh, this morning, how do you think they kept up with the significantly increased demand that they experienced? That's a great question. We did not feel uh, much difference in uh, quality, you know. Um, they they scaled up pretty quick, yeah. um, 100 times, yeah. easy, you yeah. know. Uh, so they're, you know, uh, you know, as you know, uh, some people, you know, you know, they, they, this actually helped a lot of uh, businesses, yeah, businesses, mostly yeah. online businesses. Businesses right. that had a good presence online were able, prior to prior to this, were able to take advantage. Uh, you know, and provide services and support to uh, to folks that need it. Um, so, you know. Very cool. So, Dr. Fami, as we wrap up, any any words of guidance and advice for people out there looking for their next move? Yes. They're 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 they've been quarantined. They've been locked down. They can't go back to work and make money that the way they used to make. Yes. I mean, you laterally moved from being a doctor to owning a couple of businesses. Yes. One, I think you had a, a rehab business. Yes. And now you have a you have a forty thousand square foot facility. Yes. How would you encourage somebody out there right now? Because the viewers that watch my YouTube channel are people that are, want to think like a millionaire, they want to find strategy like a millionaire, and obviously like you, they want to become a millionaire too as well. Yes. How do they do that right now in this economy? Think outside the box. Know that you're going to get there. Have the, the confidence. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, know that you will get there. Have a plan. Uh, you know, and uh, figure out where you want to be and how you want to get there and just do it. Don't let anybody, anybody or anything uh, pull you back, uh, you know, uh, hold you down. Even if uh, it's in a completely different field? Absolutely. If you have, especially if you have passion for it. If you have passion for it, you will succeed. Yeah. You know, it's a matter of putting the effort yeah. towards. And like Oprah said, success happens when preparation means, meets opportunity. Routine. So you never know when the opportunity is going to hit you. Yeah. So you need to prepare. Uh, you know, have have that eye on the prize and laser focus, and don't let anybody tell you it can't be done. Uh, we've seen miracles happen every day, so just believe in yourself and believe in the higher power and keep going forward. Very cool. Well, you've been watching the YouTube channel, the Seven Figure Squad YouTube channel. Uh, for those of you that have your thoughts, ideas, questions, comments, feedback, please drop them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, if you haven't subscribed to YouTube channel, make sure you click like and hit the bell to be notified the next time we upload our next episode. If you follow us on Facebook, make sure you like our business page at Money Smart Guy. If you follow us also on Instagram, you can find me at Money Smart Guy there too as well. So with that being said, this is an opportunity for you during this moment. I know it's kind of uncomfortable. I know a lot of people weren't expecting to do something different. Dr. Fami wasn't expecting to do something different, but they're adjusting, they're adapting, they're pivoting to create opportunities in the middle of a crisis, and you can too as well. So that being said, I'm your Money Smart Guy on behalf of Dr. Fami. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.